Okay, guys, here it is. <laughs> the real deal holy field. The down and dirty of shed nanigans. The before. Yeah, this is the before. I'm trying to get everything. I'm trying to get some pictures and stuff because we are going to start our remodel soon. Um, let me go back around because I'll show you kind of show you what what is going to happen so this wall right here is going to extend out by four feet that's it that's that's what's happening um so let me back up a sec i'm looking at this now <laughs> and i'm thinking this looks like the mind the inside of a mind of a serial killer <laughs> oh my god look at that mat like it's oh my goodness this wall my wall of fabric and that's not everything no that is not everything oh my goodness uh yeah so today it is the weekend before we're going to start the renovation. There's Samuel L. Jackson. Hey, Samuel. Um, and um, I'm going to pack up this pegboard. All of this pegboard stuff I'm going to put in this container. I think I can get it in there. Now, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to bring back both pegboards. That's questionable. It just depends what... In my mind right now, I'm thinking I'm going to have a floor to ceiling pegboard. So I'm not taking up two walls because I have a shelf that I actually got from work. They were throwing it out and I'm thinking I may be able to use that in here instead. Now I have picked up some baskets and uh, some shelves and some other kind of organizational things that um i can use and i'm i'm really i'm so blessed y'all because when i tell you like this cabinet right here they were throwing that out at my previous job this one was like i've had this for probably seven years at another job that they, they were throwing that out um yeah i mean look at it look at this corner y'all isn't that crazy? Look at these. They were throwing these out. Now, my intention with these, because they're very flat, narrow drawers, is once I get my um, my space ready, I'm going to label these, and this will have ephemera. All my ephemera, I say my ephemera, but they'll have my fussy cuts. So, I'll do like, you know, if it's, um, um, I don't know, like, let's say, uh, Bell or you know maybe uh dick and jane or you know those kind of richard scaries that's that's kind of what i'm thinking right now i don't know we'll see all of this right here all of this is like um trying to think this is like jewelry like beads and dangles and charms and all of this yeah here's some washi here's some washi <laughs> here's some more beads here's some more jewelry making stuff uh here's another jewelry making stuff here's my fabric washi that i made i mean this i've got uh stuff for days for days and then you know like this this is just visual clutter and so i'm excited to kind of get this stuff cleaned out this has also got um ephemera this has got ephemera in it yeah this is project this is a project uh this is an empty project box which is okay um this is my whale's tails that i'm keeping that's how i'm keeping them right now that may change uh here's all my punches but again that's just visual clutter i need to clean that up some more punches some stamps in these photo albums that's fussy cuts up there at the top, that's some game pieces in that glass jar. This is an antique stapler. That's an antique stapler, and I need to display it better. That's an antique stamp right there. That's in that little wooden uh, kind of tool-looking case. That's color crayons. Look at the Rolodex boxes. 
That's the memo decks I just got. Those Rolodex boxes, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those or not. You guys let me know if there's some reason I should keep those, but I'm not sure. My radio, my Zydeco radio, um, those are some old journals, some junk journals that I was keeping. Those were the kind that um, were the, um, oh, what do you, <laughs> see, I lose my words when I get on film, um, composition notebooks. So just like Rebecca who used, uh, does how she does her composition notebooks, I had done some like that before when I first started junk journaling, so that's that. That is a one of my first cookbook junk journals that I made. That's up there. This is uh, all my scrapbook paper. Um, I actually have some more coming too that I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with, but I, I have all this scrapbook paper. I have some coffee dyed paper. This is basically paper wallpaper, um, some colored paper, just some, you know, just again, colored paper, just stuff everywhere. This is going away. This, this, uh, air conditioner, this is my air conditioning unit. It is going to go away when we remodel. We are going to put, my honey's going to put a window unit in for me. So that'll be nice. Now this area right here, this little section right here, are my sewing patterns and um, thread and just some crochet needles and some knitting needles. I don't knit, but I just thought it was just a cool kind of display, which gets lost back here anyway. And this little container right here is some antique, um, uh, new old stock of buttons and just different sewing, sewing things. Yeah. Now look here, look at this back here. This is was my solution for keeping all my tickets and just different things. So I don't, I don't know how that's gonna play out, but we'll figure something out for that. This whole corner back here, I just cleaned it out. Um, in fact, I would show it to you what I did, but I think my honey took it inside. Cleaned it out. This whole corner was packaging, uh, boxes, um, bubble wrap, uh, brown uh, paper, you know, just stuff that you could wrap uh, in a Happy Mail and things like that and ship in. This is a mess, as you can see. This is a Happy Mail. Angela, this is a Happy Mail that's come to you. Once I get it packed up, I have a few more things that I'm looking for. And this paper plates, you know, because I'll use them to put my paint in and some wax paper and I don't know, just stuff. This is a this is a little plastic storage container that I just got that I, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to put it in. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, here's my little step ladder. That was, uh, that was from an old job that I had. I've had this for years. It's just like an antique little step ladder. Still works good. Um, these are some beads I need to take inside. Need to take that inside. Let's see. Sorry, I'm no me making y'all seasick. Here's the bookshelf. I'm so blessed. All of these pieces, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, these pieces, these pieces even came from my jobs, my previous jobs where they were throwing them out. And I was like, oh my God, no, I'll take that. So, uh, and there is. Uh, in all its glory. Now, these boxes up here are old. They're just uh, like the files came in those, you know, just a cardboard box. And so I just labeled them and they've been up there since I started. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to change that. They, they look okay. Of course, I would of course I would love a craft room to look like, you know, it was all organized and, uh, whatever ikea like but then i say that and you know i'm going for the granny chic look so i mean who knows what i'll find to organize that and i might leave that like that but uh then we have you know my door my that that was an incredible deal we had gotten when we first built the shed and then my wall of fabric now this is a <laughs> just a little makeshift where I could have all, th these are fabric scraps, basically. And all these bags, these are fabric scraps. These are 
you know, ribbons that I had bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, here's my little rosettes that I started making. Carla Frizzell, you know, taught me how to do that. Thankful, so thankful for for everything that I'm learning from all of you, golly. Um, oh, they were throwing this out at work, this little copper wiring. So, you know, I'm gonna incorporate that in my jewelry, but look how junky it is. Um, yeah, so just different things. I think this wall again, this is the wall that's coming out and my desk will extend and we'll kind of, it, it's just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited, you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I am, like I said, this is just a video uh, of the before shed nanigans. So um, this is this is it, guys. This is where the magic was happening, and now we're gonna we get to upgrade. All right, thank you guys. Hey guys, this is day one of the Reno. And this is what, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to put this in the video, to be honest with you, because it's so bad. But, you know, uh, that's what renovations look like, right? We're trying to keep as much stuff on this side of the room so we don't have to empty the entire space. Because that would be, oh my gosh, that would be such a beast. And uh, But maybe maybe the before and after will be... I think it'll be worth it if I just share this clip with you guys. So we've emptied this whole wall and this is the wall that is gonna come down and um, be moved out by four feet. I've taken some, some 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 pictures of the flooring. We've got the, well, not we, not we. <laughs> My honey has the floor finished. I'll walk outside with you guys, um, try not to to get you too dizzy, but let me walk around outside out the door here to show you kind of the perspective. So this wall will be extended. You can see the pilings here, uh, the footers, I'm sorry, the footers here. And here is the actual flooring that's gonna go in. Now, as you can see, my, or I don't know if I showed this part. I mean, you can see it in the video though. I painted this floor. That plywood, it, it, it's the same floor as what we're putting in. It's just plywood that I painted and stenciled. Um, I didn't paint and stencil this that's going in the new flooring section that's gonna go in because I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm, it's almost like um, I'm thinking that we're gonna lay floor. So it would just be a waste of time, effort and energy and resources. Um, I may just have it as bare flooring for now because I, my plan is really to have flooring, some type of flooring laid. I'm not sure, but that'll come, that'll come later. That'll come much later. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of where we're ending the day today and tomorrow is Saturday. So we'll put on some Zydeco in the morning and get started and start taking, uh, take down that wall, right? <laughs> so that's where we're at and I'll uh, I'll do some video tomorrow. Thanks guys. Okay, here's tomorrow guys. You can see the frame went up, the flooring went in. Uh, roof's not on yet, but my honey does, uh, he, he does manage to accomplish this all in one day. He gets it all buttoned up and uh, everything. And you can see just from this perspective, how much room it extended uh, four, by four feet, four feet, that's it. And it just makes a tremendous world of difference. Um, in the next segment, you're going to see the completed part. Hey guys, it's Carrie, the paper monkey. Well, here we are. Uh, we, as you can tell, we are not finished with the exterior of this shed renovation, but it is rainy. It's been rainy, so that's kind of delayed the progress of that, but we, I am in the shed. I have the exterior, again, not quite finished, but there, you know, I'm going to live in the space for a little while and there'll be some additions and some subtractions to what we've done here, but I did want to show you kind of where we're at and real life, right? Real life to a renovation space. Again, this is the exterior and on this wall, try to back up a little bit. On this wall right here, I plan on putting um, 
want to hang some plants. I think I, I think I want some plants now. Not quite the time of the year to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's come on in. Let's see what we got in here. So as you can see, it added four feet to this side of the room. This is the wall where we extended out. And when I say we, I mean my honey. It, <laughs> I did very little and I'm so thankful for him. But uh, yeah, so that's the, the main work desk here and where I'll do my filming. And as you can see, I'm working on a project here. I was gonna clean everything up and I was gonna, you know, I was like, no, stop being crazy because I, you know, we are not picture perfect people here. This is not what this is about. This is not ever going to be Ikea perfect. You're gonna see the studs, you're gonna see the insulation. And I, I guess my whole point being, junk journaling has taught me and is still continuing to teach me that life is real life. You know, and if you if you have a room full of Ikea, if you have a room that's all perfect, that's good for you. I mean, that's fine. I'm not downing it. I think it's lovely. And I watch all the craft tours. I When I tell you the last month and a half, I have watched so many beautiful craft spaces and I love them. I'm not envious of them, but I, I went on to find inspiration and, and all those things, right? It's, it's not about comparison. It is about creating and whatever your creative space is, you make it work for you. If your creative space is your dining room table, just create. Don't don't let your I guess what I'm saying is don't let your space dictate how you create or limit what you create. You be inspired with what you have. And that's what this space is has done for me and is continuing to do for me. This whole wall, I wanted this entire wall to represent different things that people have gifted me. And that's what this is. Carolita Crinkled Path sent me several of the embroidery hoops that already had, look how precious these images are. This, this uh, right there, I mean, all of this. And, and again, this is, this one here, I, I did. I had some leftover material that I, I did that. And this is uh, an embroidery hoop that I had. However, I put uh, fabric in it, this one and this one, all from Carla Frizzell because I just love the fabric and I wanted to be surrounded by it. Carol at A Crinkle Path did that one for me. Carol at A Crinkle Path also did a flip through of uh, recently. I can't remember if it, I think it was a book. Carol, correct me if I'm wrong if you get to watch this. But anyway, I, I commented on the fact that there was a whole gallery wall full of gold frames that had fabric in them. And I just loved that idea. And I thought, you know what? I am doing that. I am so doing it. So that's what this, this was inspired by. Um, again, a lot of thrifted items. This was thrifted. This was thrifted. This, uh, office sorter. I mean, we all, you know, we've seen them in offices. That was thrifted. It was a dollar, as a matter of fact. This is a current project that I'm working on. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but it's just one of my scrappy ties. And whenever I was going through my fabrics, I went to go and uh, I was going to donate this. And I thought, you know what? I can't, I can't get rid of it. Let me at least make some scrappy ties out of it. Oh, look, I got y'all all crooked. Sorry. Um, uh, let's see. So this is my Right now, this is where I'm keeping, just throwing all my fabric scraps. This is a dangle that I'm working on. These are some, I'll show you what these are. These are my recent obsession for yo-yos. <laughs> this is where I'm throwing all my yo-yos. And again, as I was purging, I came across these fabric squares. And, I, you know, this is what I use in my little yo-yo maker. So... I thought, you know what, let me just put them over here so I'll know that I, um, I need to make some yo-yos with that. I'm getting all cr crazy on y'all. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you seasick. This is a little thrifted item. I thought he was cute. So I brought him home recently. Um, let's see. Let me back up here. Oops, sorry. 
Um, here's my the the bookshelf. I you know I take this with me everywhere I go. But as you can see, I've I've cleaned this out quite a bit. Did a lot of purging in that. Uh, I have not made my curtains yet, so that's that's another step. And I thought I thought we would do a video on that later on, whenever I do make my curtains. So be on the lookout for that. On this side of the bookshelf, I did all of these again office uh, paper holders, file holders, file holders, and they're all the black metal. I was going to spray paint them because I look they go all the way down. I was going to spray paint them, but again, the weather has not been cooperative or uh, cooperating for spray painting outside. It's damp and it's muggy, and uh, so I may take those down eventually and spray paint them the bright uh, aqua or bright yellow even because that's kind of the colors that I wanted to do, that I wanted to have pops of color in here. These items I already had. So all of this, this whole wall of items I had already. This is where, this is my paper station. So that's uh, just wallpaper, coffee dyed paper, scrapbook paper, um, just paper, 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 right? Uh, this here at the top, this shelf, they were throwing away at my, my current uh, work. And I said, oh, I'll take it. And so I turned it upside down so that I could put... I, I just I just wanted it upside down to be honest with you that that's on purpose so uh and then again this embroidery hoop is something lovely that Carol and a crinkle path sent me this is a thrifted item and I just love the saying now if we can get close enough to it this video is probably going to be a terrible video so I apologize but you know <laughs> I appreciate y'all coming along with me for this all of these up here all of those are composition notebooks that I covered that I actually started at like Rebecca Hoot does her journals. Those are my, uh, those are the ones that I actually, when I first was introduced to junk journaling by Rebecca Hoot and Crafty Girl, that's, I did, tried my hand at that. And um, not, I'm not, not very big into journaling, but uh, but I enjoyed it, you know, and I, I didn't want to get rid of them. So let's go ahead and go around. Oh, let's let's start here. So of course my Zotico radio, I have to have that on Saturday mornings. Uh, just some colored pencils in here. I keep fabric, the bigger fabric flips. So as you can see, my Samuel L. Jackson has a permanent home here. And this is kind of like my workstation here in this. I always like to see kind of what people have. These are some threads. This is my little thread holder so I can use those, you know, if I want some fibrous uh, things to add to pages, I, I hold on to that. These in this tin are, like I said, the bigger like fabric flips and stuff. So if I'm sitting here sewing, I can just throw them in there. All of this, that's going to be dyes or um, uh, dyes or embossing folders. This, however, is my stamp book. So I have stamps stored in that. This little... Uh, Tin is full of just some string, some rope. I was working on this project last night. It was the first time I'd gotten to craft in a long time, two weeks, and I was so excited to get it done. So again, I I was gonna um, I was gonna donate that those fabric swatches, and I could, I just couldn't do it because they were so pretty. So these are the scrappy ties that I'm making with those. This is going to be some. I pulled all of this to make some um, clusters, some fabric clusters. As you can see, we have a new uh, new member of the family here at Paper Monkey. So this Cricut maker was, believe it or not, <laughs> um, someone in my in my work world. Um, said I could use this. She gave it to me is what she did. She said she's never used it. It was never used. In fact, it just it's just so bizarre to me how things come come to you. I am I am beyond blessed. I am beyond blessed because when she first approached me about it, I said, I don't do the cricket. I don't want to learn how to do the cricket. I said it's gonna be one more obsession. It I just I can't. And she basically just kept talking to me about it and then one day she said I'm just bringing you the cricket 
I said, okay. So I have not even plugged it in. I haven't turned it on. I haven't downloaded the program. Have I watched videos on it? Yes, I've gone down the rabbit hole of Cricut videos now. Did you know that this thing cuts fabric? Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all, get ready. If you get Happy Meal from me, just get ready. That's all I have to say. Here's my little, um, just uh, my buttons. You, you guys, if you saw, saw my other video, this again is from my, my work world. Someone at my office found out that I do this and they donated their grandmother's tin of buttons to me. And I have thoroughly enjoyed playing with those buttons and using those buttons. This is just a, another stash of scrappy fabric that I pull from. Uh, I'm not sure where this is going to live yet. This is meant to be for paper scraps. This is a new addition. I pulled, I had this filing cabinet inside. I had two of them. Uh, so I, I combined and I, I emptied this one and I brought it out here and Carol of the Crinkle Path, I think Angela the Traveling Crafter and a few others use the filing system when they fussy cut or when they have images or they're pulling for projects and I thought that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to start utilizing that method to file different things, whether it's little golden book images or if it's kitchen ephemera or whatever. So this, I think this is going to work for me. I, I think, I hope. Uh, as you can see here, this little lazy Susan's got all my cleaners and glues, some stuff on it. I need to figure, kind of need to figure this space out too. I'll come back around this way. This is from a previous work life. They were throwing this out. It was in my honey's shed because he has a shed also. And he said, why don't you use that? So he brought it over here for me. And I was like, this is perfect. I used, these are all fabrics. These metal baskets were, they were getting rid of them. Someone was getting rid of them. I took every one that they had and, um, I just folded my fabric and now I store them in there. The fabric used to, I used to have a fabric wall. In fact, let me bring you over here. Fabric used to be all on these shelves. So that is now all stored in here. All of the pieces that you see up here were thrifted or this piano roll was actually gifted. Angela, the traveling crafter, sent me that piano roll and I have not had the heart to cut it up or use it. I want to look at it some more <laughs> and hoard it. <laughs> I want to hoard it, uh, but I will, I will eventually use it. I just, um, I just cherish it too much right now. Just want to, just want to look at it for a little while. Um, here are some bead making uh charms and dangles and things to get this out of your way same thing here so these two spaces here uh this here is uh this glass drawer is full of game pieces and that's how i'll collect them and use them this is full of game paper like paper money monopoly cards things like that same as here same thing this basket is full of dyes and my uh, embossing, uh, embossing things, embossing plates and things like that are, are in there. This is makeup bags that are full of, again, scrappy material, whether it's ties, ribbon, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is a gift from Carol at a Crinkle Path, right? She's so awesome. This one is, as you can see, some more strings and things like that. I always like to see what people keep in their, in their little baskets. This little cigar box actually has some Tim Holtz fussy cuts and uh, things like that are in there. This, I just put, I, in fact, I just got this one. This, uh, let's see if I can, yeah. I just found this at the Goodwill the other day. So I haven't even put it together yet. This uh, was a, a stamp. That's an old piece of equipment there. This, I, I just haven't, ooh. Well, that happened. 
<laughs> Nothing like being live on TV, right? So that it was that stamp just fell down on the ground. It's just an antique little piece. This is just, uh, again, things that were being thrown out of a previous work world that I, I worked in. And I said, oh, let me have them. <laughs> so uh, just kind of, and then here's all my threads and bobbins and things. Now let's talk about this ugly corner over here. I'm not sure. Let me pick this up. Sorry, guys. Here's that stamp that fell. But isn't it cool? I just think it's so cool. Um, I'll have to figure out how to display that. But here are the the rest of my charms and beads and jewelry making things, but really I use for dangles. So there's that, and then that box is full of that. Here's a piece that I didn't hang, but I'm not, I don't want to get rid of it yet. I may use it inside. And then these two bottom boxes here, these are project boxes. Those are all projects that I'm currently working on, so I try to contain those here. So there's that. Here's the other side of where how I store my embossing folders, and then that blue book is full of stamps. Um, we'll come over this way so you can say this container, this little rolling cart is full of ribbon. Ribbon, laces, trims, things like that. These are uh, binders full of fussy cuts. Uh, those two boxes there are full of na napkins. Those are my tickets that I hang on the wall there. Up in these baskets, um, uh, just different things. Like, I'm trying to think of what's in there. So one is full of cards. One is full of junk mail envelopes. Uh, let's see. Let me come around. You know, I'm going to have to live in this space for a while. This is full of uh, rim, uh, laces and trims also. So I got a bunch of that. Here's my junk mail envelopes and cards. No, no, I'm sorry. Cards and postcards. This is all full of cards and postcards. This is full of playing cards and flash cards. This is this drawer system I, again, got from a previous previous work world. Um, this is full of adhesives and tapes and things like that. This is full of uh, envelopes and cards and things. I'm hesitant to pull some of this stuff out. This is bags. Bags and envelopes. So popcorn bags and envelopes in that. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like time cards, guest checks, um, Rolodex cards. That's that. Let me sit here. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if I can open these up. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's some more flash cards. Got some more flash cards in here. And uh, index cards and notepads. I have notepads for days. But I love to use these. These are from the Dollar Tree. And I love to just stick, you know, colored pages in different pockets. These are some of my favorites, actually. Because you, if you notice, I don't know about your Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree rarely gets these this color packet. So when I see this color packet, that's when we have one of them, yeah. Uh, I pick these up. I love those. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here's some more ribbon. See, I got I to gotta purge my ribbon. So if uh, don't be surprised. If you get happy mail from me, I, I'm fixing to do a big purge on my ribbon stash. Here's some vintage binding. This is all things that I thrifted and found at the Goodwill. Almost all of it's vintage. Almost all of it. And then some old um, measuring tapes that I also found thrifting. Um, I'm trying to think of what is... If there's anything else in here of interest, I mean, it, guys, I'm just, I love it. I don't, I don't know how to explain, like, maybe you know what I'm talking about, like when you renovate a space and you, you just live in it for a while and you know you're going to change things and you know you're going to, because like, for example, so the floor there, so see how the, the plywood wood is not painted. This is, this was existing and then of course this is what we added on. I am eventually, of course, going to paint that side of it, but it may come to it may come to be where we we floor it if I find flooring on sale, you know, or whatever. Who knows how it will evolve? I guess is what I'm saying. But there was a time in my life where 
I would have looked at this and I would have said, oh, it's not finished. I could never video this. I could never share this and video, you know, what, uh, because I don't have, my curtains are not done and these didn't get spray painted and this is not as organized as I want it to be. And, you know, it, again, this is just, um, this is what junk drawing is teaching me. It's about how comfortable you become in your space when you create. And this space to me is really, it's, it's gonna, it, it's helping me. It's helping me to create better and to evolve as a creator because somebody told me, <laughs> somebody said recently that I can't, I can't claim anymore to be a beginner. <laughs> and I'm so appreciative of that, you know, um, that's so, that's so kind. And I, I do, I love it. But this space probably, if I had to pick a favorite space, if I had to pick a favorite visual in here, it's, it's going to be my fabric. Yeah. I love the way my fabric came out, but now I have to tell myself that self, you can't bring any more fabric in because this is, this is full. I've got to use some of it now, but anywho, Anywho, guys, I really appreciate you coming along and listen. As as this space evolves, I will. Uh, I'll do periodically. I'll share some things with you, especially the curtains. I'm. I am excited to start the curtains because I have some ideas and some inspiration that I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to pull from, um, so anyway, I hope that everybody has been doing well. It is, um, it, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited for the day and I'm excited to get to, uh, back to crafting and creating. Thank you all so much for coming along. And remember what I always say, whatever it is you get to do today, I hope you have at least as much fun as I have had remodeling my craft space. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Bye.